Welcome to lesson 10 of uh, making an RC model airplane with TurboCAD. And in lesson 10, we're going to complete our last design element by drawing the landing gear. This will give us a good review of some of the TurboCAD uh, uh, techniques and procedures we've done before. We've made pretty good progress over these lessons. We've gone from the snapper frame here to a relatively complete plan here of the snapper. And now we'll go ahead and draw in the landing gear. What I'm zooming in with the track wheel. Uh, what I plan to do, remember F1 is the nose former here, F2 is a form on the side, and F3 is behind here, all 1 16th inch ply, and they glue together to form a quite strong box uh, for the motor, the front end of the airplane, and we're going to put the landing gear right on the front of F5. So I'll use 1 16th inch music wire. I think that'll work out about right, and my intent is to put the music wire, we'll sew it, onto the uh, front of F3 using a combination of 500 epoxy and dental floss. Just dental floss is very strong. Drill little holes to, to sew on the music wire and then have the landing gear out front uh, some amount to, for prop clearance. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, we will make sure the snaps are off. We're going to, as always, work with a copy uh, so don't hurt the main drawing. We'll select all that, copy, and paste. So let's move this over here to the left for our work area. And left click outside. Okay, so we will zoom in on this. And we're not going to do anything with the wing saddle, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And we're not going to do anything with F1 or F2, so let me delete those for our working copies. Now the top view and the side view are aligned, so what we're going to do is put down a vertical uh, construction line. Let me zoom in here a little bit to the to the front of F3 because that's going to be the front part of the landing gear. And what I'm going to do now is to draw a, a tire. So uh, this is a good chance to turn on the grid. We'll do that right here and notice that we can um, with the with the half the space that goes away uh, I think this is about right for what we're going to do for the for the um, wheel. And on our snap command here, we're going to snap to the grid. So let's go ahead and uh, with the flyout toolbar, we'll click the double point circle. And notice that the little diamond is snapping to the grid. And let's just left click, and we we'll look in the radius and the. Um, in the inspector bar, the lower left-hand corner, we go out to a diameter of two inches and left-click, and there is a two-inch diameter wheel right there. Go ahead and do another one. Left-click, we're still snapping to the grid with a one-inch diameter left-click, and we have um, a two-inch diameter wheel, which we'll just use for the design purposes here. We will now turn off the snaps, and we will Go ahead and with the uh, select the wheel. And on the format, we're going to create a hatch, and the hatch will fill in the area, the bounded area between the two circles. Now, what we're going to do is turn on the snap to grid again, and we're going to take the line tool, and I'm zooming in with the uh, scroll wheel. We're just going to build some spokes just for decoration as much as anything else. Note that it's snapping even to the grid behind the filled in hatch pattern and that works out fine. Now what we're going to do is put in a little uh, circle uh, in the middle and we will uh, snap to the center right there. We'll zoom in, we snap to the center and with a radius diameter 1 slash 6 enter and there we have a um, the the hub right there for the 1 16th inch music wire we're going to go ahead and turn off our snaps we're going to trim we'll use a circle as a trim and we'll just left click left click left click left click escape and there we have a wheel perfectly centered on the um, on the center so let's turn off the grid right now and we'll go ahead and left click, we'll select this, and let's just figure out where we want to put the wheel. So um, this looks like about right. We have prop clearance, ground clearance. We'll just put the wheel right here for now. 
Okay, let's draw in our first axle. We'll take the line tool, uh, left scroll wheel, we'll zoom in and we'll just uh, click there. It doesn't have to be exact. Zoom out, zoom up to the location here. This is F3 and we'll just uh, put the aft end of the axle right there. Now notice that we have the dowel in from previous work. We're going to move that a little bit because it's going to be in the way of what we're doing for our uh, music wire. We'll put that in later. So there's the back end of the music wire for the front axle. We'll use the parallel command, click on that, and it's 1 16th inch. So we tab to offset 1 over 16, enter, and uh, uh, there's the music wire right there. We'll work this extension later on. It's not needed right now. We'll go ahead and with the scroll wheel zoom in, you can see that we have the music wire going through there. We'll go ahead and trim that out. We'll just click this, click click and that gets rid of that music wire escape to get out of the, the trim function. Okay so now we have uh, the side view of the um, wheel and you can see you can put it further after or forward whatever you want to do. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, do the front view of what that music wire looks like and with this it's going to use the standard things for the construction lines. Let's take the horizontal line and we'll put it at the top of the fuselage like that. Escape to get out of the construction lines. We don't need the F, go select. We don't need F3 right now, so we'll delete that. And what we want to do is we'll zoom out for a second. Left click to select this over here. We'll zoom in a little bit. And we're just going to move that up so that the fuselage is aligned with that construction line. So we go out, you know, we can see that now F3. Uh, is lined up uh, where it is on the fuselage. And so what we're going to do now is put down another horizontal construction line here and here. And we're going to draw a box that will just uh, symbolize the uh, landing gear. It doesn't have to be precise just so we can visualize it. Just the front view of the landing gear. Click there. And we'll go ahead and um, select that box and format, we'll create hatch and that'll fill that in there. Now we don't know quite where this is going to be uh, except we're going to put it now here to see um, how wide we want it. Let's just go ahead and pick that for now. What we're going to do is just draw in the side view of the landing gear. Now uh, we'll use the middle point to draw a line here Notice it's snapping to the middle point. We'll turn off the snap, shift to keep it horizontal. That's the center of the 1 16th inch. Uh, we want to go ahead and um, to make the two halves, it just will parallel line, tab negative 1 over 32, which is half of a 16th. We'll zoom in and parallel here, up, tab 1 over 32, enter click and now we have delete uh, 1 16th inch uh, music wire right there. Let's go ahead and start drawing in the uh, music wire uh, to the top here. Uh, we've selected the line. Uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and click here. Hold down the shift key to make this vertical and then we'll click again with the line tool left click and let's say we want it to come down somewhere along here. We'll use the parallel tool, 1 16th inch, tab, uh, negative 1 over 16, enter. And the same thing here, parallel tool, tab, 1 over 16, enter. And you get the idea how that works. And uh, we'll just... Uh, continue with the top here. Let's ex uh, we'll just left click and extend this just a little bit. Left click on the blue square and uh, we'll draw a top member of this goes over. Left click, shift to keep it horizontal. Uh, left click, shift to keep, oops, escape. Need to do the parallel key on that. Parallel key, up, tab, 1 over 16, enter click on that just to bring this out here. 
Now, what we want to do to make sure we have the middle point because we're going to be uh, drawing half of this, we'll go ahead and snap to the middle point. We'll click the line tool. We'll use this line uh, right here uh, for the middle point. You see it snap to it. We'll turn off our snaps vertical to hold it here. And now uh, we'll back out with the zoom wheel. We have a rough idea of the um, of what's needed for the um, music wire axle. Let's just draw one more vertical construction line here for the escape extent of that bottom axle. We will left click, select this wheel, and uh, just delete it for now. It's a hatch pattern. And we will left click on this and just pull it out to the construction line like this. Okay, and then we'll draw one more line here shift to keep it straight. Okay, so you can see the landing gear coming to shape. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to uh, trim it up with um, the trim and segment keys that's needed, and we'll just talk through that. I'm going to scroll in with the zoom, left click on the trim, cutting edge, click, click, escape. We're still on trim, cutting edge, click, click, escape, uh, cutting edge, click, Escape, cutting edge, left click, escape. We'll zoom in on this, cutting edge, click, click, escape, cutting edge, left click, escape, cutting edge, and so forth. And I'm scrolling with the, um, just with the wheel. We'll continue trimming here, escape, and we'll trim this right here, cutting edge, cutting edge, click, click, escape cutting edge left click we're still trimming we'll trim this we'll trim this trim this and escape so now we have a, a rough idea of what the music wire uh, looks like for our landing gear so now we're going to remove what we have of F3 right here just to have the landing gear again one half and we'll just go to select and we'll just select half and get rid of at least that portion and now we just slowly select and delete left click to select delete and so forth to get rid of that former which is copied anyhow now we have um, one half of the landing gear it's very easy to now we'll save that we will select it we're going to snap to the vectors because what we're going to use is the two ends here to snap to for the mirror. So we'll click mirror. Let me zoom in here so you can see the snap to the end of the line there, uh, to the uh, the vertex here, here. Just left clicked. There is our landing gear, and um, we'll go ahead and click delete click delete and there we have the complete landing gear. The one other thing that I'll point out if you just if you want to make it look a little bit neater, very easy to use the fillet tool um, over here. We'll left click to click uh, to do the fillet and just note on the um, status bar uh, on the bottom it says to click uh, the first entity. We just click, click, you can see the little curve right there, click and so forth. And so if you want to clean up any of those curves and notice it has a 0 0.05 uh, radius here. If you want to make it a little bit more, maybe 0 0.07, that's fine. We just click, and you can see it makes it just a little bit uh, smoother on the curves there for the drawing. Same for the inside. And so forth. So that is a view of how to do the landing gear. And um, you can see that you can also use the same techniques to draw construction lines to put it on the top view. And, but this is what it looks like, and we just simply uh, put that landing gear onto F3. We'll just show that one more time. We'll take F3, copy that. I'm using the scroll wheel here to zoom in. We will paste, and something like that uh, as you go on for the design. And again, just using uh, dental floss and five minute epoxy, you literally sew the landing gear uh, onto F3 uh, during the construction.